My two bum sons. <laughs> two amigos. My two amigos, yeah. My mom apparently needs a place to live. Look at that, West Virginia. No, oh, my camera won't focus. Oh, that is so, so weird. Look, mountains, right there. So this is uh, another house. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we're home. Hey, That's so weird. It doesn't even look like the sun. I don't know what they're doing in the face, but they're doing something. There he goes to West Virginia. Get some plastic bags. <laughs> going into space. Boy, it's going into space. It's gonna go on the roof. <laughs> Look. West Virginia. Are you getting tired? Yeah. I know, my God. Oh! It's so nice to be in a, in a place besides a hotel. <sighs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little montage of this here. Um, I can't believe I'm already doing this. It feels like I, if, it feels like this year went by really fast, and I can't believe I'm already sitting here reviewing the year. Um, but let's do that because that's what I always do every single year. Um, this year was very weird. That's probably why I'm going to title it the weirdest year of my life, and I'll explain why. One of the first things that happened this year on my channel was I uh, reunited with my half-brother. Um, I, I didn't see him for quite some time. <coughs> we explored a few places for some cool videos. Um, one of the first crazy things that happened this year was finding out that my aunt's old apartment building actually burned down. Um, which is crazy because, you know, like, both our apartment buildings burned down. Um, only difference is they weren't living in it while it burned down. They moved out of it, like, a year later. But they still lived there for a long time. And a part of, it was a part of my childhood going there, um, to meet with my family. Then, this is where the weird stuff comes in. Uh, my mom moved in with us on Easter. 
Um, well, not, it wasn't on Easter, but it was like two days before Easter, so I spent Easter with my divorced parents. I did not think that would happen. Um, I, she probably didn't either. And the toughest thing about this whole thing is I don't want to, I don't want to publicize it. Um, but I'm almost forced to because my whole channel is around filming my life. And how can I film my life and be transparent and honest with you guys if a part of my life is about my mom, so what do I do? Just hide her from my videos and then what what happens? You guys see her in like one frame and then you guys are confused? But that was definitely weird, you know? Just think about it, okay? Spending Easter with, a, with your divorced parents that aren't together but they're living together now, that, that is a weird scenario. We took a road trip to West Virginia for the first time to go house hunting, but uh, that was a failed trip because um, we didn't really get anywhere. So that was 18 hours of driving gone to waste, but at least I got three videos out of it and saw West Virginia for the first time. Then we went back to Ashwood a few times, one of them being uh, where we found out that the entire place was completely empty, um, which was crazy. We also explored an abandoned police station that was right next to our old apartment building in Phoenixville, which shortly got demolished, um, which I got video of. And by the way, the demolishing of that police station right next to our building was not quiet. So yet again, we had to deal with some kind of noise living in an apartment building, which is annoying though because I was actually planning to do quite a few different videos in that police station. Um, one of them was like a night vision video, a hide and seek video, but it got demolished too soon. We did not think it was going to be demolished that quickly. But anyways, um, another thing that happened was we found out there was a secret storage room in our apartment in Phoenixville that we were never told about. Which was coincidentally like two months before we moved out. We went back to West Virginia to go house hunting again and uh, well, the first night wasn't that pleasant because we ended up being in like the worst hotel ever. Like there was bugs everywhere. It was not the best. But we did find some uh, houses. This was one of them. <laughs> and we actually picked a house and went back to Pennsylvania. And this was the house we picked. Though there was a whole just ordeal of if we were gonna get this house or not. Oh, I forgot to mention my mom moved out, um, but she moved back in in July. And then um, me and my dad went to Wildwood for a vacation. However, it was very, it was cut very short because my uh, my dad's brother, aka my uncle, passed away while we were on vacation. My mom encountered a police officer coming to our door in Phoenixville while we were in Wildwood, saying that my dad needed to tell someone what to do with the body. That one made us not be able to enjoy our vacation and two our vacation wasn't going that well anyways and three we had to leave because we didn't know what to do we didn't know if we needed to be there for paperwork and stuff. I mean if we stayed in Wildwood it wouldn't have been that fun anyways knowing that my dad's brother actually passed away like it was a fail. It was a fail of a vacation it's it's like the very first time a vacation we've ever had failed. We also got to explore the inside of Ashford Apartments um, for the first time in a year. We just went up to the workers because they're rebuilding Ashford Apartments and we got permission to just walk in there and do a quick video. That was pretty cool and I'm surprised it did not get a thousand views. In the middle of moving out, I somehow managed to do a crazy video where I sat outside for hours putting clothespins on my body every single time a car drives by. That's probably one of my favorite videos that I've done this year, mainly because it's it's like one of my project videos. I wanted it to do very well, but it only got 240 views. I, I was hoping it would get a million, but oh well. Then we finally moved out of Pennsylvania and moved here to West Virginia. However, we ended up living in a hotel for half a month. And I, I don't know if you guys really understood this at the time, um, but Basically, if you're new to the channel, or if you need a reminder, or if you didn't really know what was going on, let me try to explain what happened again. Basically, we were told that the, uh, what was it? I forget, I forget what it's called, but we had something on the, on the 12th that was going to be done so that we get this house. I forget the name of this. What is the word? This is killing me now. Okay, I can't figure out what the word is I'm looking for. I can't remember it. Future me will probably put the word I'm thinking of, like, right here. I just can't think of it. But basically, we were supposed to get the house on the 12th. That's why we came here on the 12th. But then the 
But then they kept extending the day. We were spending literally thousands of dollars living in a hotel because we had nowhere to go and we were eight hours away from our old place. On top of the fact that my mom was with us and, well, my parents weren't together so my dad had to pay for her room separately too. And food. And clothes. Then when we finally moved in here, it was like 80 degrees. It was super hot. Oh, and I forgot to mention the road trip here was crazy. It was like a hundred degrees outside. The, the worst possible day a heat wave could have happened, happened. I had a nosebleed in the middle of the road trip. So the entire rest of the road trip, I had to just like breathe out of my mouth because I didn't want to have another nosebleed because we're in the middle of a highway in a truck. Where am I going to dispense my blood? Which luckily, by the way, I haven't had a nosebleed in a while. There, I don't know what causes them. Maybe it's the heat. I don't know. All I know is it probably wasn't great for it to be 105 degrees. So we finally got this house. We finally moved in. We lost a couple thousand dollars. Which, by the way, guys, the biggest reason we were even able to secure this house, like, at all, was because we had cryptocurrency. Apparently, it is very hated around the world somehow. I don't, I don't know much about it. I'm told it's killing the world. I don't know. Or it's, it's all a scam. All I know is we were able to short term make profit from it. And because we were told that we would get this house on the 12th, we had to use a lot of money to live in a hotel for three weeks. And if we did not put any money in a cryptocurrency and were able to just take it out whenever we want, which we were able to because it wasn't a scam, then we probably wouldn't have been able to get this house in the first place because we had to waste so much money in the hotel. Okay? We were homeless. Again. In a hotel. Again. For the second year in a row. And, um, I don't think we would have been able to get this house. Because we wasted so much money. And I don't know what would have happened if that happened. Like, guys, I think it was the right choice for my dad to put money in the cryptocurrency. Now, we didn't end up making $3 million from it. But we did make some profit from it. And, and you know, the dollar bill loses its value every day. Gold doesn't. That's another thing that my dad invested in. And, um, but anyways, um, so a lot of crazy stuff started happening once we moved in here. One being is my mom moved out again. Um, and I don't want to get into why. I know you, you're probably so curious. You probably got, you guys probably want to know so bad. But out of the privacy of my mom, I don't want to publicize her story. Um, maybe in the future, I don't know. I mean, it's a lot more simpler than you guys think, and I don't want to talk about it much. And then, the day after my mom moved out, me and my dad decided to go exploring the new area. And, uh, and while exploring the area around us, I heard a, I heard a wheezing sound. I thought it was my dad, but it was that, but it actually ended up being a cat. We rescued that cat, and, uh, she's upstairs right now. And, uh, I did not think we were going to be getting a cat. Just because of the fact that, you know, we lost our cat last year. We don't know what happened to her. It, you know, it could be possible our old cat, Blackie, could still be alive to this day. It's not impossible. But what is impossible is for us to actually know the answer. Like, unless God came down himself to say, your cat is alive. This is where she is. Or she isn't alive. The truth is, there's no way to know. Unless someone tells us. Um, it's still sad. It's still very sad to me because our old cat Blackie was a part of my childhood. You know, we had her for 10 years. Actually, 11 years. And uh, we still don't know what happened to her. She just disappeared. Or the people that was taking care of her kept her. I don't know. It's impossible to know right, at, at this point. But now we have another cat. And we still haven't named her, actually. I don't know why, we just ha I just haven't gotten around to it, and uh, may maybe just let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll finally make a decision for next year. New year, new name for our cat, I don't know. And then I found out Hurricane Ida destroyed my aunt's house in pe back in Pennsylvania. There was apparently a crazy flood that we missed out. Is that by one month we missed? Like if we lived in Pennsylvania for just one more month, we would have had to deal with a crazy flood. And now, now the curiosity and the YouTuber me part of me once wishes we were there to film it because I probably would have gotten some crazy videos of that flood. And um, by the way guys, I will be doing a video at the beginning of next year talking about if it was 
the right choice to move to West Virginia and leave PA. That'll be a juicy video. And then another crazy um, adventure happened. My uh, my mom needed to come back. She needed a home again, and we drove back to Pennsylvania to get her so that she could drive back with us. Um, which, by the way, was her first time driving eight hours on a highway in her entire life. Um, it was a very short trip. We we kind of had to rush it, so we couldn't really enjoy being back in Pennsylvania. Um, but we did manage to go back to Ashwood Apartments to find out it has a whole new roof, which was crazy. But yeah, we uh, we took another road trip back to Pennsylvania so she could drive back with us, and then we came back here. That was a lot of trips from Pennsylvania to West Virginia to Pennsylvania to West Virginia to Pennsylvania to West Virginia to Pennsylvania to West Virginia. And then we had to deal with our new cat um, going in heat several times. It was very annoying. She ended up getting surgery for it and uh, then she needed surgery again because she had an um, infection. So we had to keep her in my dad's bedroom for an entire week with a cone on her head and I couldn't really film it much but that's what happened. That's another thing that happened. Oh yeah, a funny thing that happened was a bird flew into our basement. Um, I did not think that would happen. I got it on camera. I thought it was pretty funny but it didn't really do well for a video. And one of the last things that ever happened this year was our cat got stuck in the rafters in this basement. Um, that video did very poorly. I don't know why. Now I want to look back to the 2021 update I made. We are going to try and buy a house this year. Is I guess the second biggest thing is maybe getting a new cat. I feel like it's too soon yet to get a new cat. Somehow I predicted everything again. We did buy a house and move out to West Virginia and we did get a cat but it wasn't exactly planned um, so that that makes it even creepier that I somehow predicted that that's like two years in a row where the, the the update at the beginning of the year I somehow predict the things that happen I'm scared to do the next one and then I spent Christmas with my divorced parents at the same time which is pretty bizarre because you know they're, they're separated they're not together anymore and it's just, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird that I ended up spending Christmas with my parents again. Um, at the beginning of this year, if you told me that, I wouldn't have believed you. But anyways guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you guys had a good year. This was truly an eventful year, and I probably missed a few things to talk about, but this felt like a very short year. Um, 2020 was just a whole different year. Um, I'm scared to know what next year is going to be. I'll be doing the 2022 update video very soon, so look out for that. And yeah, I'm pretty tired of talking, so I'm going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to a brand new to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.